The march to reduce the use of fossil fuel in order to generate power in Michigan continues. Consumers Energy announcing this morning plans to reduce the utility's use of fossil fuels by shutting down its remaining coal-fired plants. One of those plants sits on the shore of Lake Michigan. J.H. Campbell will shut down by 2040. 24-Hour News 8's Joe Lafergi has more on what that shutdown means for your energy use and your wallet. The J.H. Campbell facility is actually three plants in one, generating power for some one million customers. But by 2040, the coal piles and the smokestacks will be gone. We're proud of the work and the men and women who've done the work and continue to do the work here. We just, we need to plan for the future and it'll be a future without coal. And without J.H. Campbell, the plant built in 1962 when the utility was known as Consumers Power sits on about 2,000 acres on the Lake Michigan shoreline just north of Holland. The decision is part of an effort by consumers to reduce carbon emissions by 80%. Seven other plants were shut down last year, including the B.C. Cobb plant in Muskegon. Pending an okay by the Michigan Public Service Commission, consumers will take the three J.H. Campbell plants, as well as two others in Bay City, offline over the next 22 years. What's this going to cost me, rate-wise, uh, the switch to renewable? Yeah. Morgenstern says the two-decade phase-out of the plant begins as renewable sources like wind and solar power and the storage of those sources continues to improve. We're looking to see these renewable costs reduce. We're not going to do this and increase the rates. Right now, about 300 employees oversee operations at J.H. Campbell. Steam created by burning coal runs these large turbines, creating the electricity. Coal-fired plants generate about 23% of the electricity distributed statewide by consumers, most of that from J.H. Campbell. It's a pretty big percentage, so we have to look at that. How do we replace that? But it's not only replacing it with renewable energy, but it's also encouraging people to be more energy efficient. And exactly what will happen to the site is yet to be determined. We'll let you know as those decisions are made. In Port Sheldon Township, Joe Lafergie, 24 Hour News 8.